We're not going to go far away from that story. We want to tell you about this, though. In Canton, Ohio, some residents are demanding a suspended police officer be fired. Dash cam video that you're about to see appears to show the officer threatening to shoot people during traffic stops. Here's Eric Mansfield of affiliate WKYC. As soon as I felt your gun, I should have took two steps back, pulled my block 40, and just put 10 bullets in your to let you drop. It was posted one week ago. Already, it's an online must-see. Canton police officer Daniel Harless berating a driver who appears to be trying to show Harless his concealed carry license so that Harless would know he was armed. I'm so close to caving in your head. But now comes a second video. I'll kill every one of you mother This one from a year ago. Now I'm telling you what, I will shoot you in the face and I'll go to sleep tonight. As Harless's temper again flares while instructing two people in the backseat of a car during a traffic stop for suspected drunk driving. Well, it looks like uh, we're seeing uh, repeat beha behavior. It's a disturbing pattern. Philip Mullivar is with Ohioans for Concealed Carry, a group that is calling for Harless's job. In both cases, this officer's behavior is entirely egregious. He needs to be removed at once. In both cases, Officer Harless is encountering a gun during a traffic stop, which is always a perceived threat for police. Now it's up to police brass to determine what's acceptable. You mother get the out before I shoot you. Okay, so I should tell you that Officer Daniel Harless has not been charged with a crime. He is on paid administrative leave from his job while these incidents are investigated. The group pushing for his dismissal is Ohioans for Concealed Carry. Ohioans for Concealed Carry. Philip Mulliver is a leader of the group. You saw him in that report. He joins us now from Cleveland. So, Philip, Canton police say they are investigating. So what's the process and how long will it take? Well, no one knows the answer that to, to that question. Um, we're waiting and we're trying to be very patient. But in the meantime, the citizens of um, Canton and the, and the area uh, are very nervous. Um, there, there's been a loss of uh, confidence in, in the local police force. And this creates some serious public safety issues. People have to have confidence and faith in their local police. And until this uh, issue is resolved with uh, Officer Harless, we have a very bad situation on our hands here. Yeah, you released this, this videotape, correct? That's correct. You did. And because you f feel, I would imagine, that uh, this officer is a, a menace or a danger to society? Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is a police officer that threatened a an unarmed, handcuffed citizen with execution. Um, the video, I think you just uh, played it, is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. um, his behavior amounts to one of the worst instances of police abuse in, in modern U.S. history. This is a very, very serious situation. My group became interested in this uh, whole um, unfortunate event because it, it brings to light a problem with the Ohio concealed carry notification law. That was the way we entered uh, this this whole um, uh, this whole issue. Mm -hmm. But um, our, our concern now is also to uh, make sure that people are safe and they have this person removed at once. Well, what's interesting is that for people, especially concerned to um, uh, c carry to conceal or consent to conceal uh, consent to carry excuse me when usually people who are in those groups are very pro police officers and I would imagine that you think because the the videotape is so damning when you see it um, that you're just not having it and you understand the pressures of, of police of course so we we have many police officers and, and law enforcement administrators are, that are not only founders of our organization but are, are active members and have been so throughout our 12-year our history. Um, we're a very pro-police uh, organization. We work very closely with police organizations in the state of Ohio. And we want everybody to be safe. We want mm -hmm. people who choose to uh, obtain a concealed carry license and carry a handgun to be safe. We want police officers to be safe. That's one of the reasons that this is such a, an incredibly disconcerting uh, 
circumstance. All right, Philip Mulliver, thank you. Come back and let us know what happens if you indeed get what you wanted to get this officer fired. We appreciate you coming on. I want to tell you what the Kent Police Department said. They released this statement. It says, quote, the officer was relieved of duty and has not worked since the incident. It is being fully investigated. You know, many critics say the extremes are dominating the debt ceiling negotiations, but...